All right. Uh, Shalom. Shalom. We're the brothers from the Great Millstone Charlotte Camp coming at you with another lesson. Huh. Before we get into our lesson, we'd like to start off giving our praises to, to Yahweh, by Shem, Yahweh, by Shem, Rekakadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone at Root Well. And salutation to the fellow laborers that's out there pushing the uh, word in the ministry of Yahweh, by Shem, Yahweh, day in and day out in all truth and sincerity. Huh. So basically, man, we're just going to get into a lesson about. Um, the UFOs, man. Well, what the world call UFOs, which are, they are the chariots of the Most High. That's right. Or the chariots of Israel, man. Because now for the past couple of weeks, you had the, the American government coming out saying that the military done had encounters with uh, so-called UFOs, like I say, which are the uh, angels, man. Right. And, and that's how the Lord is going to return, who the world called Jesus Christ, which in the pillar of Hebrew, his name is Yahweh Shah. He's going to return by the ways of those vehicles, man. You know, and we're going to get an article about the encounters um, from from these uh, U, uh, U.S. Uh, Navy airmen, you know, that uh, uh, had encounters with these uh, chariots, man. You know, in the world, they don't know, man. They, you know, saying it's an alien invasion or, you know, thinking that they're little green monsters. You know, but all actuality, really dark-skinned, angelic men. You know, which are the angels, man. That's right. And that's going to be the um, salvation of the elect of the nation of Israel, which are the Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. And they're also going to bring destruction to this place, too, when we get into the scriptures, man. So we're going to, um, let me see, get into the article. But at first, can you read Revelation um, 1 and um, 3? Con, this is the book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 3. And it's read, it says... Uh, it said, Blessed is that read it, and they that hear the word of, of this prophecy, and keep those things which were written therein, for the time is at hand. So it said, Bless the man that readeth, man. But who's going to be reading the scriptures and understand what's going on? The elect men. Con, the 144,000 right. and the one third. That's right. You know, the 144,000 being the prophets, man, that the Lord revealed the understanding of these scriptures too, man, so we can bring them out, man. You know, and the time is at hand. Now you're starting to see uh, um, uh, so-called UFO sightings, man, uh, uh, chairs increasing throughout the earth, man, and people seeing them and being bugged out, man. Huh. You know, because that's a, another sign of Yahweh Shah's second uh, coming, man, his return, you know, to, to set up the, the kingdom of Israel and righteousness and bring down these uh, uh, heathens rulership, man, starting with the so-called white man. Huh. Yeah, verse 7 now. All right, I'm going to skip down to 7. This is the uh, book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 7. It reads, it says, And behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierce him, and they, they also which pierce him, and all kindreds, kindreds. Uh, all kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him. God, so the Lord said it, the scripture said that the Lord is coming with clouds, man. That's another symbolic symbol of the chariots, man. You know, because these chariots can also take on the form of clouds, man. That's right. You know, they're also called whirlwinds, you know, in the scriptures. And, and, and now uh, uh, you're starting to see those tornadoes over there in the Middle East. You know, those can be caused by the angels, man. You know, the whirlwinds, man. Because it's the Lord that uh, do the judgment and he set up the angels to carry out the act of judgment, man. But I'm going to go ahead and get into the uh, scriptures, man. It's because the Lord is coming with clouds, man, with these chariots, man. Huh. You know, what the world call UFOs. This is um, from the New York Times. And it read, wow, what is that? Navy pilots report undisplaying flying objects. So this is from the New York Times. And these Navy pilots are talking about the, the, uh, the UFOs that they encounter, man. Which is a big uproar now. Uh, and they're coming out with it, saying that now, all of a sudden, they say that UFOs do exist, man. Yeah, because they are the angels, man. And the Bible, and they're written in the scriptures. And it says, Washington, the strange objects, one of them like a spinning top moving across the wind, appear, appear almost daily from the summer of 2014 to March, 5th, March 2015. So, by the whole year, man, they've been encountering these chariots, man. You know, and, and they was making themselves 
on a, a pair of, a pair a pan recently, man. Almost every day, man. You know, cause that's the angels watching this place, man. Can you get on Amos um nine and eight? You know, and it says on Navy pilots reported to their superiors that the objects had no visible engine or inferior exhaustion pipes, but that they could reach thirty thousand feet in hypersonic speed, kind of, cause these these chariots are. They, 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 they move at the sound of uh, uh, lightning, man. As the sound of light, man. Fast as light, man. You know? That's why Esau so bugged out about it, man. Because this ain't no no uh, carnal or no physical vehicle, man. Uh. They're spiritual, man. That's why they can go at a uh, a high type, like this, uh, like this article said, a hypersonic speed and stop on a dime, man. You know? They don't have to refuse, you know, they, uh, the, the engine like a, a plane or a jet, man. You know, because they run off of the spiritual power of you. How about Shimei was shocked? That's right. You get that on and you got it. Yeah. Uh, this is the book of Amos, chapter 9, verse 8. It said, Behold, the eyes of the Lord of of, of, uh, of Yahweh are upon the sinful kingdom. Okay, so the Lord's, the scripture said that his eyes, the Lord's eyes, is upon the sinful kingdom, man. And what represent the Lord's eyes? The angels, man. That's right. Now you're starting to see uh, recently. UFO sightings all throughout America, man. Every day, man. The article right here say that from the summer of 2014 to March uh, on 2015, they did, they was appearing recently, making their appearance by every day, man. You know, because we're in the time of the Lord about to destroy this place. And he said that the angels to keep count of what's going on in the uh, uh, on the earth, man. You know, marking the, the, the two-thirds of you wicked Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. You know, marking you judgment, the ju the judgment for you heathens, you know. And also they protecting the elect men. That's right. You know, and they seeing what's taking place here on America, man. Continue on. It says, and I will destroy it from off the face of the earth. Kind of, so that sinful kingdom is America, man. That's right. And the Lord is going to destroy this place mainly by the thermonuclear fire, the missiles that the Lord is going to have these nations shoot their missiles on America. But also by the way of these chariots, man. When Yahweh shall return. But the host of angels with his army and, and come back and destroy this place, man. Uh, that's it on that. God. You can get um Isaiah, those um yeah, Isaiah chapter 66, verse um 15. I'm gonna read some more. Back in the article, it says, These things would be out there all day. Going back to Amos 9 and 8, man. You know, the eyes of the Lord upon the sinful kingdom, Lord, God. those angels. God. Said Lieutenant, Lieutenant. Ryan Graves, a uh, FA-18 Super Hornet pilot who has been with the Navy for 10 years, who reported his sighting to the Pentagon and Congress. Keeping an aircraft in the air requires a, a significant amount of energy. With the speeds we observed 12 hours in the air is 11 hours longer than we expected. So they figured that, you know, that uh, these, these, um, these, these these chairs are not able to um uh, uh, uh stay up there that long, man. They don't know that these are spiritual beings, man. Like I say, man, these these chairs don't run off no fuel, or these chairs don't have to worry about you know uh uh uh, uh crashing, you know, being shot out the sky, you know, cause they're a, a higher power, man, and they're the higher power from you. How about Shimia was shot? Huh. Um, in 2014. In the late 2014, a Super Hornet pilot had near collision with one of the objects, and an official mishap report was filed, was failed. Some of the incidents were videotaped, including one taken by a plane camera in the early 2015 that shows the object zooming over the ocean waves as pilots question what they are watching. And this is the, the pilot's uh, reaction. And they said, wow, what is that, man? What is that, man? One uh, claims, look at it fly. So these pilots, man, they have been, they've been astonished and marvel at the way these chariots move, man. Uh. You know? Cause they, like I said, they, they, they are something out of this world, literally, man. They come from the, the spiritual realm, man. The fifth or the, or, or the third dimension, man. You know, from the heavenly realm, man. That's right. You know, being sanctioned by the heavenly father, man. They come in, uh, 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 and um, the word I try to look for to come in um, 
basically to look over this place, man. You know, so, to observe the, the, the things that's taking place here on the earth, man. Um, you get out, um, what I say, um. Isaiah 66, yeah. Yeah, go read that real quick. What, 15? Yeah, 15. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 66, verse 15. It says, And ye shall leave your name for a curse. Isaiah, unto, Isaiah 66. 66. Oh, Salah. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 66, verse 15. It reads, For behold, the Lord will come with fire. God, so that's what the Lord is coming with, man. With the world called Jesus Christ, Yahweh Shah, he's coming with fire, man. Not just all love and peace and happiness for all nations. He coming back to bring judgment by the way of fire, man. With with his chariots like a whirlwind. Those chariots, man, like a whirlwind, man. You know, and these pilots talk about the movement of these chariots, man. How they fast, man. You know how they move at hyper speed, uh, uh, uh son, hyper speed, sonic, uh, uh, speed. You know, however they say it, man. You know, cause the Lord, like I said, these chariots are way far advanced than Esau carnality technology that he have today man That's when right. it comes to his fighter jets you know his vehicles and his weapons of war man uh continue on this says to re render to uh redeem his anger render re render his anger with fury mm -hmm. and rebuke with fame of fire come so the lord coming back with fire man and rebuke two-thirds of you negro negroes latinos and native americans you israelites and the heathens, man. That's right. Starting with you Edomites, you so-called white people, man. That's right. That's it. Okay, yeah. Uh, continue verse 17. 16. 16. Uh, this is the book of Isaiah chapter 66, verse 16. It says, For by fire, by his sword, will the Lord, Yahweh Shema Shah, plead with all flesh. So that's how the Lord is going to plead with the wicked, man. By the judgment of that destruction, by the way... Of the fire from uh, those chariots and the sword that represent that nuclear destruction that's going to take place after the chariots get busy, man. You know, but just back in the article, you hold um, Isaiah 63. Let's start off at one. Wow. Back in the article, a little bit more, it says that um, it said no one in the defense department is saying that the objects were extra extraterrestrial. And expect em, emphasize that earthly expectations can generally be found for such incidents. They come, but they are extraterrestrial, man. You know, there's something from from out of the space, man. You know, out of the heavenly realm, man. And they are the angels, man. But Esau know that, man. Right. You know, he's still gonna, you know, twist up the words, you know. Cause Esau know what beings that walk into that 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 control those chariots, man. He know that's the way that the Lord is gonna uh, return, man. That's why he preparing to fight against the so-called alien invasion, which is uh, Yahweh, Yahweh Shah coming back to bring war against against these uh, armies, uh, the nation armies, man. That's right. And it says, uh, that would have said it, the de defense department. And it says, um, Lieutenant Graves and four other Navy pilots who say in the interviews with the New York Times that they saw the object 2014 in 2015, in training on Navenues, Mavenues from Virginia to Florida off the aircraft, Theo Roosevelt made no assumptions of their provenance. But the objects has gotten the attention of the Navy, which early this year sent out new classified guidance for how to report what the military calls unsplained aerial phenomenal or unidentified flying object constantly. You know, that's all I'm going to read on that, man. That's enough right there showing you that, you know, the devils know, man. They know that the Lord is about to bring destruction to this place, man. And the Lord is going to bring it by the way, by these chariots also, man. You know, and the Lord got different other plagues that he's going to use, man. You know, but mainly those chariots and those nuclear missiles are going to be the one that's going to bring that fire, man. Right. Like the brother Sam, man, the article uh, stated that the, the man said, um, that it takes a lot of energy, man. Okay, they keep um keep that in the air, all right. So no no fuel or no no like the brother said, no engine can withstand that much, man. Only only the spirit, the power. How about Shimon Shai can, man? You can, cause the spirit of the Lord is a, a, a 
consuming fire, man. Right, right. You know, Yahweh Bashim Yahushah, the Heavenly Father and the Son, they don't get tired, man. You know, you think you're talking about Kevin Gates, you know, talking about he don't get tired. No, the Most High don't get tired, man. That's He's right. a, that, that, the supreme being, man. You know, his power is uh, unlimited, man. It, it, it has no limit to it, man. You know? You know? That's a lot of Israel.